Hello guys, so today I think is a good day for comparing two boxes. It's Flash 64 and EasyJetar Plus box. Today we will compare stability of ICP connection to UFS memory and also reading speed. So, as example, I took uh, A155F Galaxy A15 and uh, f after first test I will dissolve the Flash 64 and solder it to EasyJetar Plus. So this test will be harnessed and let's begin. By the way, in both cases reset pin will be soldered, will be soldered to VCCQ because in previous video I found that if solder reset pin to VCCQ as in EasyJetar the connection is stable. So guys, let's recognize memory. You can see my settings on the screen now. GIA set it automatically. Let's connect first with default GIA. You can see the connection from the first attempt. Memory connected. All right. So let's move to partitions and find some large partition for example let it be something like yeah prism it will be super so let's check it let's press read we'll name it pre and let's press save and start our timer. We see speed now something about five megabits per second. And you can see that connection is very stable. So guys, better to solder VCC Q pin, means reset pin to VCC Q2. And as I told before, GS set it automatically. I will try to change it. Maybe we will have some better results with another GIA. In case if memory will connect with some another GIA. So guys, file almost read it, 85% now, I think reading will be finished in 30 seconds.
and we have first result three minutes 15 seconds so guys let's try to disconnect memory set some gear for example g7 let's try maybe this will have some effect no software tell me that i should try pvm g4 anyway let's try to set g1 Yep, you fast connected successfully. By the way, in the beginning of connection, it told us what speed will be used during connection. You fast supported interface. By the way, it supports high speed G3, maybe I could set Oh, yep. So let me once again. So we see that. One second, guys. Yes, we see that PVM G1 supports three from three and up to nine megabits per second. And how much supports? G3 2472. Oh, sorry, G4. All right, and let's try high speed G3. Let's close connection and reconnect. Just interesting. No, we do not want to connect with this mode gear mode so let's try this pg1 no so seems like the more faster the <coughs> more faster interface for this memory is uh, not interface, I mean GEO is PVM G4. So, guys, all right, it's our result in first test. So, let me disorder this phone from Flash 64 and I will back soon and we will test Easy Detach Plus. So, guys, phone disordered from Flash 64 and connected to Easy Detach Box. Same condition, power from USB, from PC USB, and let's compare. So we have also stable connection. Let's go to prison partition. Let me find it and we will try to read it and compare speed. Yep, here it is. So let's tick it. Reset our timer. And let's press read. Choose any folder. And here we go. Nope. Again, one more question. Let's reset the timer. And now. So reading started <coughs> and by the way we have same speed as in Flash 64 and I guess that just this memory node supports high speed mode using ICP connection and in this case there is no difference which one you will use, if it will be easy jetach or it will be Flash 64 because in this case speed will be the same. So let's check how much time this will take.
many subscribers asking me which one choose for work so guys it's a difficult one question maybe for work with the soldering memory better will be flash 64 but for scp i see that box have many moments flash 64 i mean and in some moment it stop detects memory and need to play many time and after this connection again restoring and you able to connect memory as much as you want some strange things with this maybe it's only with mine box maybe with some others but in my case with CZG Tag I have stable connection and during the connection I can understand when it's trying to connect or when some wire damaged when solder soldering not correct so if you work using ICP I recommend EasyJetag because currently there is no any memories that I wasn't able to connect with EasyJetag box I know that some modern memories like some ETC or something about something like this EasyJetag may not connect but yet I don't have this memory in hand so for me, is Jitak is more than enough for work. And guys, you see that connection same, stable, without disconnecting. Reset solder to VCC Q2 pin. Phone based on MediaTek CPU, by the way. So let me take the timer and. Oh no, friends. So, seven seconds. Jitak slower. As you remember, previous result, it was three, mi three minutes, 15 seconds. Now we have three minutes, 22 seconds. But it's about nothing, guys. It's very small difference, so 915 megabytes file both boxes reading during three minutes All right guys so i'm told everything that i want to talk today and you see the comparison of these two boxes flash 64 and this one is a plus so see you later press like if you like this video follow channel and if somebody needs remote unlocks like user logs PRP or network logs you can always inbox me with number in video description